Good morning from the coach. Everyone with exams today, you know the drill. Get in there, focus, execute an exam coach performance, get out of there. Morning from the coach. Here are the scores from overnight. Interesting. The A-Towners are still ahead. Take note of the one-man squad. Teddington. Absolutely love it. Got so much time for that kind of behaviour. He's gone in there with his liquid thinking, his revision card. He's absolutely smashed it. He's gone in there. He's seen that the Eagles have got a full squad there, but he's gone, no, you know, everyone's on study leave. I'm going to crack one out solo. This goes to show. Take note. Exams. A-Town. They can be done solo if you want it badly enough. Teamwork just helps. If you're not willing to put the base level of work in, if you're not willing to do what others aren't prepared to do, then no matter how much teamwork you have, you're not hitting A-Town. So as I said, I've got a lot of time for that kind of behavior, where an individual just wants to hit A-Town so bad they do whatever it takes. So I'm going to send that guy in the photo a fun exam plan. A snap username or you're that guy and you're watching this snap, swipe up, send me a message and I'll ping over the deets and then you can get cracking on the exam coach number one program. Take note, if you see any detailers today, there's where you put them, in the bin. out to Pete thanks for checking in with the coach you're that Teddington a towner in the pick you've got your fun exam plan crack on hit a town the exam coach way beautiful quick update from the coach here are the scores on the doors I've got a message for the Eagles Have some Eagles you're better than this I believe in you you can hit a town I know you can all you got to do is get 10 people to vote for you actually I was lying you need 13 D town sausage from me just finished a set of 12 press-ups wheezing the coach checking in mid-plank, absolutely killing me, but it's all about the margins, and it's the same in this screenshot battle. The margins count. No, the coach calls and the Eagles come cruising back into action. Absolutely love it. Deadline, 6pm this evening. Here of the Teddington A-Towners asking for the old backhanded score update on the private chat. I can't do that. That's not the exam coach way. Coach in Jedi mode. Updates will be coming every half an hour from now until 6. Exam tip. Why don't you see this comp that we're currently doing as a tool that can help you with your revision over the next two hours. I'll explain. Doing an update every 30 minutes, that means you've got four 30 minute sessions until six. Use that as four 30 minute power sessions and use the Snapchat as a break. Get that done. Cut it down to 25 minute power sessions if you want to take five minute breaks to watch the snap or go and get a cup or a drink, a bit of liquid thinking, a bit of brain fuel, whatever you want. This coach just checking in, told a little detail sauce earlier, it won't be finishing at 6, it's going to be finishing at 5.45 because that's when the first snap was taken yesterday and it's going to be Don't know much about the French I took, but I do know that I love history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. 45 minutes left on the clock and the Teddington A-Towners aren't being denied. They're cruising, they're on the road to A-Town, they're still ahead, but it's close. Oh. very close 
Had to go and grab myself a little cheeky 50CL Buxton, didn't I? Sweating a bit. It's absolute scenes here at Exam Coach HQ. The coach is 20... Five CL through his fifty CL Buxton, and the Eagles are in the lead. You know, in the middle of this, I thought I'd just calm things down a bit and let you know a quick exam tip. The A Towners are now in the lead. Boom. Okay, last five minutes. No more updates from the coach. This 50 CL Buxton is going down way too quick. I'll let you know the final score when it happens. That's a snap battle, all done and dusted. Unbelievable effort from all involved. Okay, so I haven't updated this since two minutes ago. So 17.47 at the moment, stopped it at 17.45. Let's see what it says down the bottom. Hats off to the A-Towners. That is what I call rapid action screenshots. They were pinging them in. It was unbelievable. Epsom Eagles, the coach has got so much time for that never say die attitude. You deployed it, you pushed them all the way to the limit. Cracking work. But as the coach has always said with exams, they're a high performance sport and it pays to be a winner. So tomorrow I'll be dishing out those care packages. The coach checking in, just cooking up some brain fuel as we speak. I'm going to drop a little exam tip tonight. Get ready to take note. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions in about what exactly is brain fuel. Here's a quick rule for you. If it's green and it was living at some point, it's brain fuel. You want to be steering well clear of all the things that are going to make your blood sugar levels go up and down like crazy. So these are the things like the fizzies, aka fizzy drinks, fast food, and anything else that is just chock-a-block with sugar and simple carbs. You want to keep that at arm's length, that's detail. Keep it on one side. It's the coach checking in with a little midnight exam tip. Take note. So I'm called the exam coach for a reason, and that's because I believe exams are a high performance sport. In things the exam coach way, preparation is very important, but so much of it comes down to whether you can pull out your A game on the day of the exam. The kind of exam that really tests you on your ability to perform on the day are the ones that rely on principles rather than preloaded answers. For example, a type of exam that is based on principle is something like maths. You're just given the questions and you've got to react to that and answer them. A kind of exam that maybe you'd come with preloaded answers to is something like history, an essay subject where you have a rough idea of what the questions are going to be and you can come preloaded. Take note, the exam coach did history at uni, came preloaded, hit A-Town. Today, I want to give you five tips on how you can really prepare for these exams that are very, very high performance and based on principle, like maths. If I'm honest, my strong point isn't maths. I've always been sort of around the fringes of A-Town, but the GCSE year, I got an A-star, and then I sacked it off, and I'll tell you how I did it. So after this snap, there are going to be five snaps, and I recommend you just ping in a few screenshots, get five screenshots, thank you very much, and then you can go and read them, because I'll be a bit... Number one, you've got to be alert for these exams based on logic and principle. Your mind has got to be sharp before you get into that exam hall. Number two, RTQ, WYW. Sounds really simple, but I guarantee you, if you do this in every exam, you're going up a great boundary. If you get a toughie, remember to deploy plan B. Remember podcast episode six, when I talked about chipping out from the pine needles at Augusta to save bogey. Time stamp those pages. When you're in flow, when you're doing things the exam coach way, sometimes you forget to look at the clock. You just need something there to jog your memory and tell you to look up. Number five, this one's all about not leaving anything on the table. The classic A-Town mindset. Giving it your all and remembering the coach is in your corner. Yo, that's your absolute bread and butter for exams based on principle. I'm a big fan of the bread and butter, I love keeping things simple, and it works.